there. Today we're going to talk about what is a helicopter. My name is Captain Candy and I fly emergency medical helicopters in the Dallas, Texas area. Behind me is one of the helicopters that I fly. Helicopters and airplanes are very similar. Airplanes though have stationary wings so their wings do not move but the helicopter wings actually spin and we call them rotor blades. The rotor blades on the helicopter allow us to hover, fly sideways, and even backwards, things that you cannot do in an airplane. So you might be wondering, how does the helicopter work? There are four forces affecting the helicopter in flight, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. In order for the helicopter to fly, it must create lift. Lift is an upward force created by the rotor blades. In order to better understand how this works, we can study Bernoulli's principle. Understanding Bernoulli's principle helps us to understand the relationship between airspeed and air pressure. So we were just talking about Bernoulli's principle. Now we're going to explain how Bernoulli's principle relates to our rotor blades. So we're gonna go up here. So this is one of our rotor blades and we actually call the rotor blade an airfoil because of the way that it is shaped. So if you look carefully at the bottom of the airfoil, it is more flat than the top part. The top part has more of a rounded area. So what this creates is when the air molecules are going over the top of the airfoil, they actually have a longer distance to travel to meet up with the air molecules coming across the bottom. So they are speeding up going over the top in order to meet the ones coming across the bottom. So that airspeed creates an area of low pressure and it causes the rotor blade to rise, which is how we get lift. So let's talk about what helicopters can do. Because of their unique ability to hover, helicopters can do some pretty cool things. This helicopter, for instance, is an emergency medical helicopter, and it's able to land in some pretty small spots. Sometimes we land on roadways where there's traffic accidents. Sometimes we land in small fields. After we pick up the patient, we fly them to a hospital, and we actually land on a helideck that's on top of these hospitals. <laughs> there are many uses for helicopters. We've already discussed how they are used as air ambulances. What else do you think helicopters can be used for? Some helicopters are designed to carry large loads of water to fight wildfires. Sometimes on TV you'll see these helicopters. Guess who's filming them? TV news helicopters. Helicopters have been used to film some of the biggest events in recent history. Helicopters are also used in the military to attack targets and move troops and supplies. Police departments use helicopters to assist their police officers on the ground. Helicopters are used to film scenes for movies and they often appear as part of the action themselves. I bet you can think of some other ways that helicopters are used. Now you can make your own helicopter. So go ahead and get your helicopter template and some scissors, and we're gonna start out by cutting on the solid lines. Okay, so, so far we have a rectangle, and then we're gonna cut this last solid line. Uh, one, I almost forgot, we also have two more spots right here that we need to cut. So all the solid lines we're cutting, above the A and the B, and then we should be all done with the scissors. So it should look something like that. And now you can Okay, so now we're going to fold A and B towards each other. So I actually turn it over and then fold like this. So there's A. And then I'm going to fold B over A. So it should look like this. So you can see C. Now we're going to fold C up along that dotted line. So yours should look like that. And then we're going to fold 
D down and E down. So these are like going to be our rotor blades. So we're going to fold them on the dotted lines. Now we have our helicopter. Another thing we can do is experiment with adding weight to our helicopter. So if you have any paper clips, go ahead and put one on your helicopter. I just put mine on like this. Now let's see how it flies with the paper clip on it, with the added weight. We'll see how that affects the spinning. Let's experiment with the weight or shape of your helicopter. How does it affect flight when you add a paper clip to the stem? Now let's add two paper clips. How does changing the weight of the stem affect the flight of your helicopter? Let's try folding the stem to make it shorter. How about making the blades jagged or rounded? What does that do to helicopter flight? We can also try bending the blades the other direction. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed talking to you about helicopters.